Hey guys, Patrick Walters here, and I'm gonna show you guys how I choose my Texas rig worm. You know, when you choose a Texas rig worm, you gotta keep it simple. There's only really a couple styles, whether it's a straight worm or say like an old curly tail. This is a Zumo Monster. This is probably one of my favorite worms, but you really just go by size, what cover you're fishing, um, what you're trying to match. If you wanna catch a big fish sometimes, you can even throw little baits. So just necessarily, if you think you're going for a big fish, you don't need a big bait because you can catch them on just a small, Texas Freak Truck Worm. I've caught many big fish at home, but really it's the cover and the depth. The shallower I go, usually sometimes, I wouldn't say necessarily shallower. I'm gonna go with more pressured. The more pressured they are, the smaller Texas Rig Worm I'll go. And when those fish are really feeding and they're feeding up, that's when I'll go with the bigger worm. This is a Zumo Monster. It's a 10 and a half inch worm. And then this is the Mag 2, a little bit smaller, it's like nine and a half inches, a little bit more finesse, but this is a great grass worm. You can actually put this on a shaky head as well, but put it on a lightweight. And you all you have to do is adjust your hook to, to fit each bait. Where the Zumo Monster, I'll put about a four or five on in it. This is actually a four aught. And then that's the Mag Worm. I'd go a little bit bigger than that one. And then for this one, I'd probably go with a four, almost down to a three. And then for the Trick Worm, I'm usually running a three aught hooking these and just whatever weight you kind of want whatever, for the depth you're fishing but choosing the worm is all about personal preference of how, what the, how heavy and aggressive those fish are feeding and what cover you're fishing so color and shade really keep it simple green pumpkin and watermelon red is a great start those are my number one favorite colors for just all around anywhere in the country and if it's overcast if it's dark I'll go with say black and blue or June bug low light conditions and if it's really summertime, getting clear water, and those fish are moving out offshore, can't beat old plum. And that's how I choose my Texas frig worm.